Good evening, my classy people. It is Sunday, as always. I'm here in the Speed King studio, and we're about 12 days, 11 days out from the Breeders' Cup uh, Championship uh, Friday and Saturday, Future Star Friday, for sure. Remember, our tip sheets are available. want to thank everybody that's gotten their orders in, appreciate it, and their payments. Really do appreciate it. But if you are interested, they're $20 each day. Friday's $20 full car 10 you know races saturday 12 races we analyze give you our, our picks for sure great way to support us just email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com we have five different payment methods and of course you can text the office at 732-804-0637 well i wanted to profile a horse in the distaff you know the girls are in town it is race number six on november 2nd uh, the distaff, right, for fillies and mares for $2 million. And, of course, you know all the talented, talented fillies that's in there. But there is an X factor in there, and I thought you and I should uh, actually at least uh, talk about this Japan runner. There's two in there, but one that I wanted to profile and see what your thoughts were here in the community. Um, awesome result. Well, awesome result... Uh, is a Kentucky bred, but apparently was uh, purchased by uh, Japan or Japanese uh, owners and trainer, and the horse has never run in the U.S. Has seven starts and has seven wins. So in other words, awesome result has been never been beaten. Uh, total seven wins from seven starts this year, three for three, and has earned almost uh, 900011 dollars right? Now, she is by the Triple Crown winner, Justify, on the back end by Deputy Minister. So they probably they brought this horse privately here in the U.S., this Kentucky-bred filly, four years old, and has raced in, uh, you know, over there in Japan. Now, obviously, she broke her maiden as a two-year-old, only ran once, and she had three races as a three-year-old. Again, in a special weight, a special weight, and then a stake race, right? Now, I don't know what's in those races. And this year is a four-year-old. They brought her out in February. She won uh, the Ad Adirond Stakes over there, the Express Hyatt, and the Breeders' Gold Cup on August 27th. So she hasn't run since August 27th. So she's probably continuing to still develop. It'll be about mm, two and a half months uh, prior to, uh, this, since she's run on uh, August 27th. And they're bringing her over here to give her a test in the distaff. Now, you and I know the distaff is nothing to sneeze at, right? Obviously, there are some very, very talented uh, Phillies and mayors, none bigger than Idiomatic in that race, obviously by Curlin, uh, Brad Cox and his band of merry horses owned by Judd Mott, and of course Torpedo Anna. Don't need to tell you anything about how talented uh, she is, right? Of course, Kenny McPeak uh, is doing his thing with her, and um, the other uh, fillies that are in that race, Rage and C, of course, Chad Brown doing his conditioning, Candy with Candy, which is uh, Todd Pletcher uh, doing his conditioning on that one. And so the Distaff is one of our favorite races, and it's not an easy race to win because we have some very, very talented fillies and mares. But I thought it was uh, interesting that they chose to ship this uh Kentucky bred who's never run in the U.S. and 7 for 7 is undefeated here into the Breeders' Cup distaff. Now, if Mr. Raggison was around, he says, well, you got to pay attention because the horse has never been beaten and who are you to stop the train? So let's have a healthy discussion about uh, this possible entry into the distaff. A lot of unknowns because we don't know much about what was in the races that she won. Okay. Uh, but we know that she finished first every time that she run. So, uh, or ran. Um, so I think it's important that we take a look and have a healthy discussion because, again, the distaff with idiomatic torpedo and the candies in the race, rage and see, yo, man, you're going to have to run to, to beat this, you know, to win this race, right, as every year 
for sure. Awesome result by Justify, deputy minister on the back end, three starts this year, three wins. She hasn't ran since August, September, October, so this one's been away like two and a half months, so we know she's fit, fish, uh, uh, fresh, fit, and fast. We know that she probably improved off of her last race over the last two and a half months, and it's probably gotten better. So let's take a look at awesome result for sure. Let's have a healthy discussion in here. If anybody, if I've seen two or three of her races, I was able to find those, you know, on the internet. Okay, and she's got beautiful strides. She's very, very fast. Uh, hey, let's profile and take a sneak peek at this here quantity that's really unknown, but we should take a look. Awesome result, 7 for 7, coming in for Japan in the, this year's distaff. Let's take a look. Y'all go take it out. Let's have a healthy discussion. Won't be easy, but it is worth taking a look at her, for sure. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am the Speed King. Stay classy, y'all. Awesome result. 7 for 7. Coming in from Japan. Sneak peek.